I want to start with congrats on the series. Uh, first two episodes are great. Um, I, I'm curious, when you signed on, when Marvel said to you, hey, we want you to do this, how much did they actually tell you about the role and how much were you sort of like Marvel? I, yeah, I can do this. Um, that's a good question. Not very much, to be honest with you, Steve. I mean, they did tell me, I mean, that it was the swordsman. Um, and <laughs> basically that's it. No, I mean, certain things about the story that, um, that, you know, I can't say right now because it's part of the, it's part of the plot, but they did say sort of where the character was kind of going but not where it was going to end up. Um, not who anybody else was in it, obviously, except for uh, Jeremy. But, um, you know, I, I, talked, I talked with Reese for a while about, you know, kind of the tone that he wanted, which is sort of this sort of Christmassy kind of sort of light sort of. And, and, and that, that was very appealing to me because, um, you know, I, I hadn't done something like that in, in, in a long time. And, and, and also we were right in the middle of the pandemic, uh, you know, pre-vaccination and stuff. So it was, it just, it just fit in perfectly, you know? No, completely. Um, once you found out you were playing Swordsman, uh, who's been a part of the comics for a very long time, um, how much were you actually like reading all the stuff you could get? And how much were you sort of like, well, that's the version that's come before. I, I really just got to stick with what's on the page. Well, I mean, I did, I, I did as much as I could, you know, I, um, you know, bought a bunch of comic books with, uh, with the swordsman just to get an idea. And also, I mean, the, the, the character of Jack Duquesne when he was created was sort of loosely based on Errol Flynn. And I did want to have that sort of essence. So I did, I did my Errol Flynn research, which, uh, which is, you know, I think it's, it's sort of, you can tell, you can see it. I, I wanted that sort of, sort of that sort of smiley guy that you don't know if he's smiling for real because he knows something or if he's just kind of goofy or not but but you know that he's good with the sword you know you're not too sure about him and then also I mean everything else is just kind of there you know I mean you have Reese you have the scripts you see how the set's working out and you just kind of you know you you come with everything that you can and then once it's there, you you just put it on the table and you see what you can use and what you can't use and and what comes you know new to the character. Um, what surprised you actually about making a Marvel series that perhaps you weren't like expecting going in? Probably the size, the size of this thing, man. I mean, just the sets, the you know the the the, the locations. It was just like, wow, okay, this is humongous. You know, I mean. There's, there's like, there's some scenes there that we did in Rockefeller Center that some are just a set. I mean, the Rockefeller Center set in Atlanta, you know? I mean, so there was part that was done there, but other parts that wasn't. So you just show up there and there's a whole ice skating ring, there's a whole tree. It's, you're in the middle of this humongous, you know, sort of airs field there in Atlanta. And it's like, this is huge, man, you know? I well, I can I've seen some I've been on some Marvel sets and I've seen the level of detail of what exactly, they the level of detail yeah yeah it's it's crazy look before I run out of time with you even though I have still a little bit of time um I am a huge Better Call Saul fan oh, I mean you. I love love the series and thank I just want to know obviously I know you can't say much but are you allowed to tease anything about the upcoming season uh what was it like reading those scripts for the first time. It was very exciting, man. It was very, very exciting. I mean, you, you have no idea what's going to happen. It's out of control what these guys wrote. Out of control. I, I'm so, I'm so excited. What is it like for you though? Because you play a very, you're not really a nice guy on the series. Let's say it like that. What is it like actually when you are in line for Starbucks or the supermarket and people get a look at you? Is it? You can tell immediately, I would imagine, if they're a fan of the show. Well, see, the thing is that, like, I mean, by the time it came out, we all are wearing masks. So it's nobody's, true. nobody knows what the hell I'm, whatever, you know. I mean, it's, it does happen. Like, for example, I got in last night um, at the airport 
and they make you take off your mask uh, at that, uh, you know, at the, 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 what's it called? The, you know, when you show up to see. Oh, the security passport. checkpoint. Yeah. And the guy goes, oh my God, are you Lalo Salamanca? And I go, yeah. And he goes, oh my God, dude, I love that show. I was like, that, oh, okay, there, somebody recognized me, you know, <laughs> but otherwise you just got a mask on all day. So, you know, nobody's, uh, it hasn't, it hasn't kind of set in yet. Uh, my, going back to, uh, to Hawkeye, uh, my last question for you, um, what are you actually most excited for fans to see in the series? Like what were some, you know what I mean? Like is, was it a, a, I guess, what are you most excited for people to see? I mean, I think that just the fact of getting Jeremy back as as uh, as Clint is is you know it's it's it just is sort of like a warm fuzzy feeling for for everybody who's you know been a fan of Avengers and of you know Marvel, and also I mean Haley is really something else. I mean she's really unbelievable in this, and I think that she really captures the whole essence of you know the job at hand, and I think that people are going to love that. Yeah, she's fantastic in the first two episodes. Yeah, um, she's really th- something. Yeah, thank you so much for your time, and I really cannot wait for the upcoming season of Saul. Thanks, so, so excited. It. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Take care.